Hi, good morning, everybody. It is Friday, April 17th, and I am here to do morning prayer and virtues with you. I hope you had a great night's sleep um, and that you're looking forward to a really nice day. The sun is out. It's a little chilly this morning, but the sun is out, so that's positive. It's supposed to rain all week next week, so... Um, <clears throat> so let's get started with our day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us say the morning offering. Lord Jesus, thank you for bringing me to this, the beginning of a new day of life. I want to share this day with you. May everything I say and do and think please you and be my way of thanking you for all that you have done and do for me. Amen. It is God's love for us that saves us. In Jesus, God revealed his great love for us. We, in turn, love God back by loving one another, and especially by caring for the poor and the oppressed. A reading from the first letter of John. Beloved, let us love one another, because love is from God. Everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. God's love was revealed among us in this way. God sent his only son into the world so that we might live through him. Beloved, since God loved us so much, we also ought to have one another, love one another. No one has ever seen God. If we love one another, God lives in us and his love is perfected in us. By this, we know that we abide in him and he in us because he has given us the, of his spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father has sent his Son, the Savior of the world, God is love. And those who abide in love abide in God, and God abides in them. The word of the Lord. Think about this silently in your heart. Who teaches you the most about God's love? So let us think about the people we want to pray for today and hold them very special in our hearts. And say the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Our virtue of the morning, or of the day, is fortitude. That's a big word, but... Oops. Where did it go? It went away. <laughs> I gotta get it back. Fortitude is strength of character. It is the will to endure no matter what happens with courage, confidence, and patience. Fortitude is deeply rooted in the bedrock of our will. We cultivate it by strengthening our resolve to face whatever comes. It springs from devotion to a purpose we believe to be real and important. It grows as we face and overcome insurmountable obstacles. It keeps us going. Our fortitude can astonish us. The practice of fortitude. I have the will to survive. I have the patience to endure. I am guided by clear purpose. I know what I care about. Whatever life brings makes me stronger. I have amazing endurance. I am thankful for the gift of fortitude as it is the strength of my soul. All right, so it's similar to strength, but I think it's a little deeper. And we have one birthday today, so a very happy birthday to Jadelyn Gerardo in our sixth grade. Jadelyn, I hope you have a wonderful day today. Um, and uh, everybody else have a great day today too. All right, I'll be back for story time tonight. Take care, everybody. Bye.